Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that we are overdue for a studio tour. It's been a long time since my studio makeover video that you can watch here or here. But I suggest you watch this one first and then you can see how far we've come. But yeah, I've been using this setup for a long time. It's a setup that can move around a little bit, but the way that it's placed right now is how it's been for the past couple of months. So I thought that I could show you what it looks like now, give you a little tour of the place, and you tell me what you think about my setup. Of course, I would like to make it even better in the future. I wanna do another makeover eventually, but I just need some time to think about what I wanna do and plan everything. So it's gonna take some time. So for now and for the foreseeable future, this is what it's gonna look like. So I hope that you enjoyed this tour and don't hesitate to give me any suggestions if you have any in the comments below. Let's start with an overall view of the studio. So this is the view you get when you come in. This is the most luminous room that I have in this whole apartment. So I'm very lucky. So right away when you come in, we have this beautiful gallery wall. I have a really big easel that I just put next to the wall and I put some artwork on there when I don't use it. So right now I have this, I call it an urban landscape in which all the man-made stuff is a lot less detailed than the nature. So I like it very much. Behind it, I have another landscape. Here are the same concepts, these two. Same concept as this one. This is a study. This is another study that I did with oils. This one I did with acrylics. And these three are not made by me. This is a painting by Melissa Primo. She's a Montreal artist and I love her work so much. This is an illustration by the Baltic Club, which is another Montreal company. They make these beautiful stationary items. This is an illustration made by my friend. I'll put all of these guys' Instagram in the description. So this is a wall that is very inspiring to me. I really love looking at it. And also it makes the most beautiful backgrounds for my videos. I'm sorry if the camera is shaking a little bit. Usually I would activate the stabilizer in the camera, but when I do, the view is not as wide. And this room is not that big. So I thought that it would be better that I showed you the, the widest I could show you. On the floor, here we have this wood panel. I use it sometimes to stick my watercolor paper on top. This is a smaller easel. This is my charging station. So this is where I charge my camera batteries or my, um, my Bluetooth earbuds. I have a long cactus that honestly I don't know what to do with. As you can see, the real pot is in there. It's so small, so it has no roots, no strength. It's always falling. Yeah. But from afar, it doesn't look too bad, so it's gonna stay here for now. <laughs> now, in this little corner, we have some art supplies. So up top here, we have a bunch of brushes. So my acrylic brushes, this is acrylic brushes as well. And these are my oil brushes with a little plant that I cut. It was reaching the floor, so I cut it here. Hopefully it's gonna continue growing. And the other part I put in water, hopefully it's gonna grow some roots. In here, I put all of my acrylic inks so they are beautifully displayed. I love them. I have some containers, not containers, but I use these as mixing palettes for my watercolor. These are two liquid watercolors from the brand Dr. PH Martin. And this is the Schmincke granulation spray that honestly, I don't really know how to use or I haven't been very satisfied with it so far. And in the corner here, we have my tripod. So this one here is my photography tripod that I can use for my videos as well. And this one here, this long one is a mic tripod, but I use it for my overhead shots. It's not the best to be honest, because 
it's not the most solid thing. So one day I want to have a better setup for sure. This is my lab coat, a blue lab coat that I use when I paint with oils. We'll go into this closet a bit later. When we move here, we have two art tables. This is the one that I mostly use. And as you can see, it's, it's a really small table. And on top, I put this wood top. But it's not the best also because it, it moves a lot and makes this noise. So when I film, if I erase or if I'm too vigorous in my movements, it's going to make the table shake and the image shake. So it's not the best. One day I want to replace it with another table. But the reason that I use this one is that it's very small so I can move it around in my studio very easily. It's especially useful in the winter because in the winter I use some box lights. So usually I'm going to put the table here and the box lights on each side and I'm going to be facing this way. But during the summer months, there's enough light outside, so I don't need this additional lighting setup. So I mainly leave it in front of the window. Here by the windowsill, we have some plants. This, I don't know if you remember, at some point I had this huge ficus. It was here, but it died. The leaves all turned brown. So I salvaged two leaves that I planted. One died and the other one is this one that multiplied and it's growing. I feel like this one is starting to have brown dots. So I don't know what it's about, but the other leaves are really pretty. So we'll see how they turn out. Here we have, this is a piece of coral that I brought back from Curaçao when I went in, was it in February? I'm not sure. A rock, some more plants. Uh, this is the newest plant that I have. This is a coffee plant and I really love it. So here we have another desk. I could use this one instead of this one. It would shake way less. It's just that it's too big. It's too bulky and there's the Wi-Fi router that's on top. So it's too fragile. I don't like moving it. I would have to put it on the floor and I don't know. I don't like moving this table, but yeah, so it's how it's placed right now. Before I had it on this side and I had this other one here, but I didn't like this setup because the two tables ended like in the middle of the window. So I couldn't be right in front of the window when I painted. I was always on either side. So it wasn't the best for the lighting situation. So on top of this table, I have in the corner here, two jars that I use for my watercolor water. I have this little pipette thing that I use to reactivate my gouache and my watercolor in my palette, the router. I have some ink pens and stuff like that and regular graphite pencils. And in here I have more funky pencils, charcoal pencils, um, colored pencils, stuff like that. This is my cutting board that I love so much. It's very useful. Here is my pop filter. So when I record voiceovers, I just clamp it to the table and I record using it so you don't hear any annoying pops. Um, here I have my extension cord that I use whenever I want to charge some supplies. So my iPad or my mic, it's very useful. And under it, we have a lot of packing supplies. Behind there's another like box there. This is my garbage bin. This is wall paint that I would like to use someday. It's some kind of like rusty color. It's very pretty. And in here we have a drawer. Let's open it and see what's inside. So right here, we have the supplies that I use the most. This is not a drawer that I use a lot. So here I put everything that I use the most. So I have some highlighters here. This is like some miscellaneous stuff some glue. I don't even know if it's good. Here we have my alcohol markers. Here we have my Prismacolor Premier pencils. Behind that we have a tin of graphite pencils and my Sennelier oil pastels. And here we have like some drawing supplies. So rulers, stuff like that. And then behind 
these oh, what are they called i forget it's kind of like hard watercolors or hard hard pastels or something like that so you have to grind them in this thing and then you add some water and it becomes paint here i use them only once the only reason why i'm keeping them is that they're really pretty but it's such a hassle to grind them it takes so long and you haven't even created color mixes and you have one well you know so if you want to create another color you have to finish the color that you put here and then you wash it and then you start over it's just too complicated when i have some supplies that are way easier to use so yeah and behind here we have like my sewing stuff so some scissors some thread and stuff like that and that's pretty much it i think i have some crochet stuff behind and also some uh, knitting stuff so that's what we have we're gonna move this table back oh and yeah so i use this kitchen chair and i have this tool here that i used to use but i don't anymore because of this the noise it makes when i make the slightest movement was very annoying in my videos combined with the noise of this table it's not a good mix so now what i do is i use it as like a side table so whenever i paint here i put some supplies on this little stool and it's been working oh and here i forgot to tell you but we have another like tabletop one that is way prettier so i use it sometimes when i need a very pretty table so if i were to film another skillshare class i would probably use this table on top here we have a shelf that has one purpose and it's to be pretty i put some paintings on there i put some decorations a big plant i still have this winter garden that i made like three years ago that i i think it's pretty maybe i should put something else here but for now it just stayed there so here i have a painting that my boyfriend dislikes so much but i love it it's very creepy i know but i love it so much so it's here i forgot who the artist is though so this is it going down here we have my little artist cart that i love so much it's so useful so on top i have this acrylic thing that i got like yesterday my mom gave it to me usually you put makeup in there that's why you have these little like spaces here you would put some lipsticks in there so i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna put in there i thought at first i could put my new color twos and place them in order but i might get some more soon so they're not gonna fit so for now i put my watercolor pencils i try to put the funky colors on one side and the like regular colors on the other or like the more normal colors i put my pan pastels here an eraser another eraser and that's it for now here we have some watercolor brushes in their case watercolor pencils my new color tools that i'm gonna need to figure something out when i get more but for now it's fine and that's the top first drawer is some tools that i use so this is my um how, what is it called i forget this you can see it so i put it here with the other nibs these are measuring tapes these are some clips a cutter and some erasers and this is my foldable cup that i use when i travel so random stuff and in here i have extra paint pans second drawer are my palettes so i have some ceramic palettes and i have two plates and that's it now it starts to get exciting the third one is one of the big ones so i have all my watercolors i have some containers so in here i have like the earth tones in here i have the blues and greens and in here i have like my primary colors my blacks my whites this is my masking fluid these are two little palettes the ones that i used before and this is a a thin that i have 
that I might transfer into a palette one day. And these are my Van Gogh watercolors. Here I have my main watercolor palette. And here I have some magnets that I use when I create a new palette to stick the pants on the bottom of the palette. And that's it for this, for this one. Now next one, we have here some cheap acrylic paints and some cheap inks. And that's pretty much it. And then we have two more drawers. And this one we have some painting tools. So we have the tape here, we have some salt, a card to create textures, some sponges, Q-tips, these little like sponges on a stick. <laughs> and the last drawer is all my filming gear. So I have my batteries here, some charging cables here, uh, my white balance cards, stuff like that. Just all stuff that I use for filming. So that's it. Here we have this little table that I love so much. It's so pretty. On top I have my paper cutter and on top of it I have some sketchbooks, some journals that I like to keep out. I don't want to put them in my closet because I want to be able to see them and it makes me, it reminds me to use them. Behind we have this round mirror that I wish I could put on a wall someday. I'm just keeping it here for now. It's like antique, it's very pretty. So it's a project for another time. Here we have this big plant pot and there's no plant inside obviously. And inside there are some storage stuff. This one was on the wall here, you see the two screws. But now I have this drawer set up, but I would like to put it, I would like to put it on this wall and maybe put my pencils in there. Eventually, we'll see. Here we have a beautiful macrame decoration that was made by my best friend. We have this chair that I'm thinking of getting rid of at some point because it takes so much space I don't really use it and I feel like instead of having a, a chair here I could have like a desk with really thin drawers in which I could put all my artworks and stuff like that so I'm thinking about changing this corner eventually and below here we have some fabric for sewing on the chair I put some of my bigger papers so big watercolor paper some pads usually it's in my closet but I've been using these lately, so they're just out and they might stay here for a little bit because I like seeing them too. It reminds me to use them. Behind we have a picture frame with nothing inside that I would like to use maybe one day. Here we have some painting canvases that I want to use someday. I use this big one a lot because it's very textured. So I use this one a lot for my backgrounds, for my pictures on Instagram. But I have a bunch of different sizes. This one is very big. I would like to use it soon. I'm just thinking about what would be the best use for it. I don't know yet. And here too, behind the chair, I have other canvases, wood panels, stuff like that. So I like being able to see them. I think that that's it for what we can see when we come in. Now we're gonna go see what's happening in this closet. Okay, so we have, we put a little light here, so at least now I can see what I have in this closet. On top of this bookshelf, I have some paper, some paper artwork. I did a tour of the artwork that I have here. I can link it here, you can see it if you want. So whenever I finish an artwork and I don't know where to put it, I just put it on top there. Let me just try to change the color balance. So yeah, here I have some sketchbooks and some journals that I have finished. Here I have some pencil cases and stuff like that that I take whenever I travel. So I put my supplies in here. So I like having them here so they're easy to reach. These are acrylic markers in this uh, pencil holder. 
These are my Holbein water soluble oils. This is my Himimiya gouache palette and some palettes that I use for gouache with my white gouache. Here are my oil supplies. So some solvents and mediums. And in the back here, we have some fixatives, a bunch of fixative that I need to explore more with. Here we have other sketchbooks and paper pad that are not finished. More canvases and papers and stuff that I can use to paint on. Here we have my sewing machine and some cheap papers that I swatch my colors on when I paint. And below here, some sewing material, my Stay Wet palette. In here I have some oil paints and this is a cutlery set. <laughs> Yeah. In this little corner here, I have my tripod for my light boxes. And here I have some paper rolls, some canvas uh, fabric that it's bent here. So I think I want to use it soon, but I think that the fibers will be very stretched here, but it's still very long. So I think you can cut it in half. We'll see. In this bag, there is all my lights. I put them away for the summer, so I put all the lights, the lighting material in this bag. And this is like random stuff, uh, a mattress and yeah, don't look at it. Here I have some gesso and more papers. And here I have all of my acrylic paints. And here I have just miscellaneous stuff, some yogurt pots that I use for my water when I paint with acrylics. and and also gouache. And up top right here, we have some huge watercolor papers that I haven't used yet, but I really wanna use them soon. So that's it, we're done. Let's just close this one. So that's it, that's what my studio looks like for now. I wanna change it up. I say soon, but realistically, I don't know when it's going to happen. But of course, I would like to optimize it, change some stuff, maybe like selling my big box lights and replacing them with ring lights. I think ring lights would, would work better in this small space and also like getting rid of some furniture that I'm not using, like the big chair in the corner that I showed you. And yeah, just making my space work better for me and working on my filming gear as well so these are all things that i need to think about if you have any ideas after all you've seen on how i could modify this space to have more storage but also to make the space more efficient for me please let me know or if you you've watched some great videos or you know some blog posts about this please leave them in the comments because i think i need some inspiration all right, so that's it. Thank you again for watching my video. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.